Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews with a very quickly made case unboxing and first impressions. I've got an exam tomorrow morning and Friday in the afternoon. I'm filming this on a Tuesday evening because it only just arrived. So some time ago I had a look at the Inwin 303 and I found it to be an awesome case but it was a bit on the large side and perhaps not as practical for most users. And hopefully the 101 should address all those things. So I'm going to do an unboxing and then I'll also give you some really uh, first impressions before actually doing a full review next week if I'm not at Gamescom or in two weeks time. So let's start with the box itself. Now you can already see the honeycomb structure on it. Um, on this side you can see all the specs hopefully. So I'll just read them with you. So it's just a black or white case. I have mine in white, of course, um, so that it actually is visible on camera. So they just say modest yet sharp, stylish, loosened, luminous front pedal. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um, detail oriented, just a bunch of marketing jibber jabber. Um, so it's steel and plastic. It fits any motherboard size up to ATX, seven PCIe slots, um, VJ cards all the way up to 42 centimeters long because the case itself is uh, only 44 and a half centimeters long. Uh, and basically it weighs around seven and a half kilograms, fits any size power supply. That's all you should know. So let's get my trusty unboxing knife out. I haven't really used this one in a very long time. And you should always cut towards yourself so that you don't hit your filming equipment when you're filming. If you're not filming, cut away from yourself, by the way. There we go. Let's see what's inside here. Hopefully the case. There's already some stuff coming out, which isn't the case. So we'll look at these things in a while. Let's get the case out first. There we go. Packaging is just the usual styrofoam. And I'm going to get shocked when I take this off. If you don't get shocked when you're opening up a case, you're not doing it right, I guess. There we go. You can already see the uh, tempered glass panel. So let's put it in the correct orientation. So yeah, it's just rather thin um, styrofoam. It should be enough for most shipments. If your um, courier is particularly um, careless with your packages, you may want to just go and pick one up. Um, so basically, as we can see the front, nice and plain front, same for the top. Um, so this illuminates in blue, it's not RGB controlled, which is a bit of a shame. They have a power button down here with a nice, nice click to it. Um, Lovely change from the 303 is that the feet are now chamfered. Makes it a little bit more stylish looking. Um, the top of the case, just completely plain. You just have your I.O. there. So the I.O. is two USB 3.0s, audio in and audio out. Um, there's also a 101C, which will have a USB type C connector. Uh, as with the 303, very easy to remove dust filter. Love to see that. Um, and that's basically it. the paint quality looks rather decent. Now these, uh, the new side panel with the 303, there was a little um, lever here that you have to pull on. Uh, now it's just push pins like on a um, stock CPU cooler. So they're just push pins. Not quite sure how long they'll last, but let's find out in my full review. Uh, the side panel is quite thin. So this is one of the thinnest um, tempered glass side panels that I've seen, but Feels pretty sturdy, so I don't see that it'll be a problem. Let's hope so. And if it is, I'll mention it in my full on review. Now, um, you have your um, hard drive slots right here in front of the power supply. So as you can see, any length power supply will fit. I can also already tell you that it's going to be SATA powered instead of Molex powered. So Inwin already gets thumbs up there. Now I did actually buy this case myself uh, because I found it an interesting design. Uh, Inwin wasn't able to provide me with a review sample, so keep that in mind as well. Um, perhaps a little bit of paint damage over here, but quality looks pretty good. Now let's have a look at the accessories. 
All right then, so contents of the bag. I really like these uh, Ziploc bags that Inwin does with their cases. It's a bit, I guess, easier to work with than some cardboard stuffed uh, in one of the slots. So a bunch of zip ties, so that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 zip ties. And then there's um, rubbers, so your hard drives don't rattle. Screws for SSDs, screws for fans your motherboard standoffs, so the motherboard standoffs are not installed from the factory, so you'll have to install those yourself. And then a rather nice little thing, so this is a, a GPU support bracket, so it mounts onto your case, I guess this way, and then your GPU rests on here, or it's the other way around, it's also a possibility. Uh, and then you have the instruction booklet, also in this little bag. Let's have a look if it's any decent quality. It's actually a nice print on the outside. Uh, it's French, Dutch, English, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, P Russian, Korean, and whatever. Um, many languages here. And yeah, it's just a, a general very nice color print here. Um, so the feet are probably still the very same. So yeah, it's still rubber inserts which you can pull out and remove the feet. Again, only one 20 millimeter fan support which sucks so much. Uh, they're also not on sliders. So the holes are a bit um, elliptical, but you're probably going to have to drill if you need 140 millimeter fans or if you're using particularly old radiators. Now you should be able to fit up to a 360 in the bottom here, which is great, but as I said, you might need to drill if you're using the 20 millimeter um, hole spacing radiators from a few years back if you're still using those. Um, this bit for your AIO cooler, if you put your CPU AIO cooler here, um, this is actually plastic so hopefully I can just remove it completely, uh, maybe even replace it and then just put intake fans here in the bottom. Don't quite know yet which fans I'm going to use but let's have a look at the back side because I always find the back side of a case more interesting perhaps even than the other side. Um, so this is very, you know, known from the 303. Normal thumb screws on this side. They are captive, which is awesome. This one's really tight. Oh boy, this one's tight. Where's my knife? Don't call them thumb screws when you can't open them with your thumb. So annoying. But yeah. Okay, so captive thumb screws, awesome. Um, there are also, oh, this is cool. Hopefully you guys can see that on the camera. So there are these little felt strips on here. Um, you also get these with like the Fantex N2 cases. Uh, and they just make it so that it can't possibly rattle because this dampens any sort of rattling. Really nice to see that. Also for those wondering, this um, honeycomb texture, you probably can't see it because it's all white and washed out. Um, but there's quite some spacing in there, so airflow should be uh, adequate through here. Anyway, here at the back we can see that this plastic bit is held in place with um, three screws and it just slides up and you can remove it, which is awesome if you have to um, install the radiator first, stuff like that. Cable management seems to be okay. Um, four, actually six hooks here, and you can always stash stuff up here. Uh, and also a little cutout here. So with the 303, um, the motherboard came all the way to the bottom. So all your bottom um, I.O. for the front I.O. had to be routed and it was really rather ugly. So now that there's a hole over here, um, hopefully we can route all those cables underneath the motherboard, make it look super clean. Back to the backside though. Um, I'd say that's just over two centimeters of clearance on the entire um, back of the motherboard. And then here, of course, that's gotta be 30 centimeters. So 200 millimeter long power supplies, and then some for your cables. Um, there's also a, uh, so you have your dual hard drives here, but there's also a little slot here for an SSD all the way up top, it seems. And then two more SSDs right here. There isn't really an option to mount an SSD um, over here but I guess you could mod that if you really want to, or even mod it to the front panel if that's the sort of style that you want to go with. Um, I did notice there's a little bit of a scratch here in the top, um, so I'll have to mention that in the paint quality section of my review. 
So anyway guys, that was it for a first look and unboxing of the Inwin 101. There will be a full review next week if I'm not at Gamescom. If I am at Gamescom, it'll be two weeks from now. Um, so for now, thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button for the full review and I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.